Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Manly Voices. I'm Evan, also known as Manly Ankles. I'm back again with Grace. What? Yeah, it's true. Okay. You are Grace. I am me. You are my love. Aww. <laughs> We're playing Phoenix Wright. Um, it's been a hot second since we've recorded. I don't exactly remember how far we are in this investigation. Uh, he's like... We're like, hey, can you uh, help Maya? And he's like, fuck you. Yeah, pretty much. And then we're like, that painting's cool. And he's like, duh. It's not for sale. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's mine. And yeah. we're like, I, I know. I was just saying it's rad. Yeah, it seems we've talked to him about everything. So we got to go back to Maya and tell her that she's SOL. Is that what we have to do? Yeah. yeah. All right. Pretty sure. Okay. For everyone, whoever whoever's living under a rock and hasn't played this game, our, our mentor just got murdered. And her sister is being blamed for it. Well, this game's a lot more popular in Japan than it is in the U.S. That is true. But it has developed a great following here in this household. <laughs> here over at Manly Voices. Even Gabs really likes this game. Uh, enough talking. We're gonna fucking move to the detention center. Wait, Gabs isn't part of this household? Well, no, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to trick me. She's our pet dog. She's our pet dog. Mm. Yeah, we've trained our dog to speak this whole time. We're just that good. We're just kidding, Gabs. They're not a dog. I mean, I think Gabs would be pretty happy if she got reincarnated into a dog. Just saying. What kind of dog do you think she'd be? I don't know, because now I feel like she's going to judge me on whatever I say. I would think it would be a Border Collie. I don't know. I think, I mean, she got, she's got she got a lot of energy. That's a lot of energy. She does have a lot of energy. Though. I was kind of thinking more of like a Golden Retriever. Yeah? Yeah, well, like high energy, but like down to snuggle down to chill yeah, yeah down to chill yeah. all right that's fair anyway i know but she knows dogs so well i was like we got uh, we cannot mess this up <laughs> a shih tzu i don't know <laughs> definitely not a shih tzu hiya oh you're back did you find that lawyer uh well what do i tell her well see just be honest i I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He, he was all skin and bones. Well, that's definitely not the truth. Um, what really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Erp. Erp. He just burps. Erp? What kind of <laughs> sound is that? I, I see. I've been abandoned then. First my sister abandoned me through death, and now this guy... <laughs> Looks like my mom, and who knows what happened to my dad. What happened? What about your family? I only had my sister. Oh. Oh, I, that's what happened to her dad. Okay, I did never remember what happened to the dad. <laughs> I guess that's my dad. What... Er, my father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So she could still be alive. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in a incident. There was a man, and he, well, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced that she would become a lawyer, whatever that means, and left the mountain. You see, a lawyer is someone who practices law. <laughs> so you live by yourself? Yeah, I've gotten used to it. And also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain. I'm just kind of like, bam, but they're not like... Yeah, they're not exactly the greatest. <laughs> so, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, just like I said a minute ago, there was an unusual murder case made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? Well, it was a crazy, like, exorcist moment. My mom's, like, head started spinning. 
So the case is solved, we thought. She kept saying all Jews must die. <laughs> it was really bad for the press. And just for everyone in general. I think that's why my father died. <laughs> you see, he was half Jewish. <laughs> see, this is where... This is... This is where we cut. Anyway. This is where we cut audio. <laughs> the case was solved. You thought? You thought? Well, yeah. The man my mother helped the police capture turned out to be innocent. <gasps> the police. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. Because everybody would be all like all up in arms. They knew the police were dealing with mediums. You know, just praying to Satan and all that. But a unnamed man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White? Excuse me? White? That was his name. Gabs! <laughs> she, she's on YouTube right now. Hi, hey, Gabs. How about that? Oh, oh, because we're on a Switch. I was yeah. like, how would we know what she's using? <laughs> uh, I was like, that's a little stalkerish. What'd you put in her? <laughs> uh, um, that was his name. You stalkerish. My, it's a type of licorice. Have you eaten it yet? Stalkerish. <laughs> It kind of tastes like leeks. My <laughs> sister told me. It uh, that's really funny. It tastes like leeks, like press leeks. Did you do that on purpose? No. Okay. <laughs> I, wish I, did. I was kind of trying to like play it's it just off. Like, like uh, I yes. <laughs> I am that clever. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes. I guess. <sighs> Four p.m. Time's up. I heard he's got an itchy butt. Itchy butt. And he needs appointment. What? And other random facts about her. Yeah, his index finger will be other places instead of pointing randomly what across the do? courtroom. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Yep. What? There's nothing left here for me to do. No. She'll be better off with us with a state appointed Wait. lawyer. Are, are we getting a guilty verdict already? I think I'd better get home now. Goodbye. Hey, have you monster? <laughs> It was a few days later when I found out how the story ended. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. I'll probably never meet her again. Did I make the right choice? Will I ever know? Mia, if you can hear me, please tell me. He's like, what the fuck did you do? Or wait, what was her voice? Phoenix, what did you do? Not! I can't let that happen! <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was just gonna give us uh, a game over. I'm and not like, leaving oh, here. We're gonna play this part again. Right. I'm not leaving here until she takes me as her lawyer. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Um, okay. Why? Why? Well, I can't abandon you. Someone else is the culprit. I don't know why. I can't abandon you. <laughs> no one's as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Uh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> Excuse me, I just, I just watched them. God, I just watched uh, I Choose You, uh, the Pokemon movie. I'm really <laughs> emotional. Oh. You like Pokemon too? <laughs> well. Yeah, we should watch sometime if I ever get out of prison. Yeah. Let's fight this one and get you out of here. All right. Thank you. That's how you pronounce it. Right? It's pronounced Rit. Wigget? Phoenix Rigget. Ribbit. Rigget. She, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. She One, like turns, she like channels something and just <laughs> turns into a different person. Right. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes, but as a defense lawyer, I must point out that it doesn't matter. You should believe in your client no matter what. But also I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. Because I'm so, kind of trusting you with my life, so just... <laughs> You know, trusting me a little? So what next? There's something that's so been bugging me. you want to go grab a bite? Oh, that's right. You're in prison. 
Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. Maybe she's got like a mega box of condoms. You don't know what's in her life. There has to be something in there. It could be a vibrator. Let's go find the vibrator. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, he's got an errand streak in his hair! He does! That's really funny. Excuse me, you are? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. But, but oh, he's got an air right. streak in his hair. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities. She's taking a huge... <laughs> so if we need anything, I'll be like taking my... <laughs> Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy. Wait, wait, no, Enjoy. hey! Shutting down. Why does it seem like I'm ever... Like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself. You Wait. Just do it naturally? Now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost this is the forgot. As hell. <sighs> you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Literally two minutes ago. White. I hate it when we flashback to something a couple minutes ago. White was the name of the guy who ruined like, Mia and Maya's mother. You might as mother. well just take the audio from like three minutes ago and just put it over. Yeah, but that would that would that be phoning it in, Grace. Could it be a coincidence? Well, Mr. White tried to phone it in and he failed. <laughs> so clever. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half top, half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. A screwdriver? <laughs> what do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? I don't know, maybe she's trying to catch a cheating husband. We don't know her life. <laughs> There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May, if that even is your real name. Why would she have like something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence to in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure this illegally obtained evidence. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. I like that that was actually there. Uh, what, what voice did I give her? I think I don't... it gave her the really high-pitched one. My voice still there! <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. I'm gonna need some water. In court. If she tangoes. It's gonna be a kangaroo court, if you know what I mean. Lots of hopping. Lots of hopping. Bell hopping. <laughs> all right. This, this, yeah, save our progress, and then we're going to catch you all next time on Manly Voices. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. And also leave a comment on what other voice adventures you'd like us to do next. Until next time, bye, everybody.